What's going on guys, it's your boy Pratchard Dice Man, I'm bringing another episode of Pokemon Legends of the Arena. It has been a long, long time since I played this game. Um, I completely forgot that it's been updated, so I'm kind of behind, like months behind, <laughs> from when it was last uh, updated. Uh, let me check the options. Yeah, fast, shift, screen, medium, okay, we're... We're set. Oh, whoa. Okay. You just go move it. Okay. Oh, look at my team. Look at that power. <laughs> Alright, so no toggle, but Z's to run. And finally, we can go inside of this cave. See what's here. <clears throat> Might as well catch it if I have the Pokeballs. Oh yeah, definitely. I so many. They tend to move about in groups of around five snowmen. In snowy regions, it is said that when they are seen late at night, snowfall will arrive by morning. Oh, I must not have that many Pokemon in this game. Frost Breath. Okay. The critical hit move. What else is here? Oh, wow. Just... <laughs> okay. Wow, okay. <clears throat> Hey, it's Kinra! It's been such a long time since I've seen this guy. <laughs> eh, might as well catch it. Yeah, that snow, that snow rope was actually male, so I could evolve that into a Galilee. Never mind. Wow. Revive, what's his name? Oh, while we're at it, let's take a look at our team. We 
got Rocky Helmet, uh, Ampharos, Raymond. We got Kareem with the Amulet Coin. We got Kenra, Kane's Rock. We got Slater left with leftovers. We had Dwayne, the uh, Flygon, and Vortex, the Aerodactyl. Seems to be a common, uh... Oh, whoa, 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 Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Mm. This lady's not messing around, apparently. Oh, no, no, okay. <laughs> okay, I... All right. Just a bunch of Snorites and Glalies right here. Hmm. Another Snorite. If I find any other more, if I find um, I, three more tries. If there are three Snorites or Glalies, then I'm just gonna. Uh, set up a repel. Hmm. Oh. No. There we go. Ah. Uh. Oh, that was snow, right? That's one. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. S sneezed. Two. Snore number three. All right, that's it. Sort of a repel. I thought I'd find like a a sneeze or, or something here, but seem to be the only like the same few, few po Oh, I don't have that many super repels. Yikes. Okay. And even then, these glaives will probably just pop up on me. Yep. Imagine if I used Sunny Day. I would have been very upset. <laughs> I've been really upset. Well, if I do run into any Pokemon strong to me, I'll probably use it to grind, because I... a Deadly Bird. I'm 
probably be very under leveled considering I'm the same level as most of the wild Pokemon here. Oh, okay. We finally find something different. Oh, wow. Okay. You know what? That's fine. I probably wouldn't have used Jinx anyways. dry skin. That would make sense. Deadly bird. Oh! Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to use flare blades. Jellyboard gave me a present and healed me while I used flare blitz on it. I feel bad. Chapter 7 Revelations. Glacier Town. I'm so cold, I think I might be stuck up to this bench. Moving here from Tapu Town was the worst idea ever. What the hell, Laura? We go from Sunstone Village to this? I know, it sucks. But hey, while we wait, we're waiting for you, we built a snowman. Great. <laughs> and Gable's been flirting with the hot mayor later, which is new. Wait. Isn't he? Nope. I thought so too, but nope. Weird. The guy who wears bright purple, for God's sake. Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go. I've been waiting for ages. <coughs> um, can I help you? Yeah. Uh, you lore? Yep. Great, great. Uh, Gabriel wants to see you. Said it's urgent. Really? Well, okay. Must be a crisis or something. I guess I'll see you in a bit, Shen. Don't you dare ride a mammoth swan without me. Alright, let's explore this place a little bit. You got a boarding pass? No. Okay, you can't come through. Oh, really? Okay. There we go. Okay. Hyper potions. Ultra balls. Do I have any of those? No. I have lots of money. Okay, let's buy 20 of them. I have 20 of those already. Match repel. 22. Not enough. <laughs>
if I buy 20 of those. Alright, we're set. I forgot how much money I had in this game. <laughs> wow. I wanted to evolve my snow run into a frostess, but what? Well, frostess is a ghost type. I'd have to buy a reaper cloth, which is illegal. Oh. Wait. Please don't tell anyone. I'm not a criminal, I swear. Don't worry. I won't tell the soul. Oh, thank you. You're a good person. Here, take these. I ate them to stave off the cold. The Pokemon should like them too. I forgot about that. The, in this game, ghost type Pokemon, using ghost type Pokemon, or only ghost type Pokemon, is illegal. My sister gave me a Lapras for my birthday. But I want something a bit man. You know, like a Gyarados. Do you have one? Do I? I don't know if I have one. It would be, it would be something I would uh, get. You may be wondering why nobody is hanging around town. May I direct your attention to the freezing cold snow and ice everywhere? <laughs> I feel you, bro. I feel you. Yay! I can't wait for Pokemon. It's like Christmas, but with 800% more Pokemon. How's Delibird supposed to get down a chimney which is on fire? Logic. <laughs> oh my god, if you kids don't cut it out, then I swear, Delibird won't deliver presents to this house for the next five years. Want to hear a good story? It's quite long. Sure, why not? Okay. So you know the tournament was created by Reginald Righteous 30 years ago? I think so. Well, it almost never happened. See, most of the trainers back then came from wealthy families. Poor people could barely afford Pokeballs. Let alone all the fancy training equipment the top guys had their hands on. But Reg, he was different. He knew that your skill didn't come from how much money you had. He knew it was part of your character. So he convinced his friends to come with him to the local villages and see if they could find fresh talent. How did that go? Not so great. See, all the village folk were scared of Reg and his buddies. Their Pokemon were much stronger. And besides, if some rich guys dared you to fight them, wouldn't you think it was a trick? Anyway, Reg became to lose hope. But one day, at one of the last villages they visited, there stepped forward a challenger. He was a complete stranger. Not even the village knew who he was. But he took on Reg and his buddies. And he won? You bet your ass he did. The rich guys got were gobsmacked. In all their years, they had never faced a trainer so strong. They tried to find out who the guy was, where he'd come from, but... And I swear this is true. He vanished. Poof. Into thin air. Wait, really? Sure. And he never came back. Wow. So what happened with the tournament? Well, that was all the convincing they needed. Reg and his buddies set up the tournament that year. A place where anyone from anywhere could participate. And Reg was proved right. The first winner was this poor kid from the docks of Salt Spray City. The second, a gardener from Sunstone Village. But deep down, I think Reg wanted to see that guy again. The guy who changed everything, and then disappeared. Maybe that's why he started eating so much food? Jeez, what'd you look at the time? Sorry I kept you, kid. That's alright, thanks for the story. No worries. You let me know if you see that guy. Oh, right. Let's see. Five ultra walls. Oh, right. This is why I don't need anything. I've been clearing snow off this roof all morning. But then more snow keeps falling. Will it never end? Oh. <laughs> That's gotta be the worst job in this place. <laughs> it seems like it snows forever here. Let's see if I have a Gyarados. I wouldn't mind using the Lapras. I 
get a Gyarados. I don't even have a Magikarp. Mm, I have this egg, egg that I didn't hatch. Ah, dunk it. Diggity. McNeil. Pozu. Ah, Loopsire Vortex. Yeah, I really don't have that much po many Pokemon at all. Oh, right! Dog Prince, I forgot I had you. You are in my backup team. You, uh, part of the Grass Fire Water Core. Let's keep going. Keep exploring. This must be the coldest tap this town's been in over a decade. I hope it isn't an omen. <coughs> yeah, I already went up there. We're lucky to have a mayor as resourceful as Cecilia. Or as I like to call her, the Ice Queen. <laughs> Why do you call her that? I think it's what people used to call her back in her battling days. Also, I once tried to ask her out and she said no. So either she has a heart of ice, or she's a lesbian. Definitely the only two possibilities. <laughs> Internet's out. How am I supposed to order a seal for a coat now? Hey, Shen. Is Laura coming back? Not sure. It's okay. Her snow packing was uh, kind kind of lousy anyway. Hmm? Sorry, I was having a nap. My name's Gabriella. I'm the official expert on Pokemon in her dreams. Did you know that all Pokemon have a hidden ability? It's true. By having them focus on their dreams, I can help Pokemon unlock this ability. Oh, hold on to it. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Flash fire, torrent, static, thick fat, levitate, rock head. I think Kareem would benefit from this. Be warned, this will be permanent. Yes. There we go. All change. Come back soon. <laughs> now she. Now sheer force. Nice. Nice. <laughs> All right, uh, Kenra, I'm thinking would be guts, right? But I think Flashfire suits it better, especially when I have uh, a Dark Prince in the back. Uh, I think his is plus or minus, depending on the gender. I'm guessing. Uh, Slater's has thick fat, gluttony, and I think immunity. I like thick fat. Um, Dwayne just has levitate, and you have rock head and pressure. I don't know if you have a hidden ab uh, another ability. Let's check that, because to be perfectly honest, rock head isn't gonna benefit it. It doesn't learn any. Uh, it doesn't learn any moves uh, that utilize that by level up. I don't think. Probably double edge? Does it learn double edge? Let's keep it. Let's keep it. But it's good to know that this uh, person is here. Wait. 
what's here? Ooh, two rare candies, nice. Now that's an item. Hey Shen, this is quite different from Sandstone Village, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hey, have you seen... Oh, isn't it the most beautiful day to be shoveling mammoth swine? Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. So, uh, okay. See, she's the one who, uh, I guess, trains mammoth swine to r uh, ride, through, uh, ride through the areas. But that's not what... <laughs> that doesn't excuse what she just said. Huh, yes, yes, it is. That's so funny, Cecilia. Eh. Oh, I didn't see you there. What's your name, boy in hat? Um, my name's Shen. I see. Nice to meet you, Shen. My name's Cecilia. Though I suspect you all have heard by me by my name, the Ice Queen. I think it was started by my frustrated ex-boyfriend. But I have to admit, I'd rather come around to the name. Gives my dung scrapes duties quite the regal spin, don't you think? Haha, <laughs> what a story, Cecilia. Gabriel, where's Laura? So, Cecilia, how long have you, um, owned Mammoth Swines? Well, my father heard of Pella Swine when I was younger. He even gave me my own swine up to play with. And then, when he left us for the swimsuit model which, from Johto. What? I took over his business. Oh, I see. That was very um, courageous of you. Gabriel, where's Laura? How am I supposed to know? It's not like I'm her father, is it? A man came up to us and said you wanted to see her. Well, he was clearly lying, wasn't he? What did this man look like, Shen? Was he wearing glasses? I... Yes, how did you know that? What's going on? What? Gabriel, I think Laura has been taken by the Cult of Shadow. Wait, what? Wait, what? How did... There's no time. We need to act fast if we're going to get her back. She'll be taken north to an abandoned Pokeball factory. That's where the cult was, has settled. Only problem is, the route leading there is cut off by a blizzard. Tell you what, I'll loan you two of my mammoth swine to carry you through the storm. I'll go on ahead. We need to hurry, otherwise the route will be completely cut off. Wait, Cecilia! Slow down. How did you know the cult was back? And how did you know they'd taken Laura? I know she's a high profile target, but she could have just. She could have just. Oh, Gabriel. Things really have changed since you were here last since you were last here. I never should have taken my eye off her. Come on, there's no time. Well, you heard the lady, Shen. Let's go, go. Quick, go find your kidnapped friend. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Gee, it sure cold. it's cold out here, mister. You said it, Billy. Hey, that's not my name. That's enough, Billy. <laughs> it's a big boulder over here. Oh, strength. punch okay 
did do too much. Try catching it from air ball. Damn it. That's probably what was that. Like that's a little too overzealous. Let's see. I could have used a quick ball and just I just got it over with. All right, I'm gonna use a special fucking ball. Nice. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. A Cecil scales trees by punching. Punching its hooked claws into the bark. It seeks out unguarded nests and scales eggs for food while the parents are away. You know, you know what we call all our sneezles. Has a grip claw and it has keen eye ability. It's jolly nature. Nice. Slash snatch punishment ice shard. Now, what should I switch it for? Yeah, you're kind of high leveled. Let's put Dwayne in a box for now. Instead of Keen Eye, let's give it the hidden ability. I think it's Pickpocket, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure if that'll ever be useful, but maybe I'll maybe I'll find the Snorlax I could use that on. Because Snorlax tends to have leftovers. then guys i'm gonna call this an episode right here um uh, we'll be continuing off to try and find laura um and see what all this uh about the cult of shadow being uh located here is all about i will see you guys next time